Well, hello there. I'm Didro. Nah, just kidding. I'm an octopus made of copper wires. We do have the same voice though, which could be confusing. I'm introducing today's video because I'm featured in it. I helped maintaining the page of sketchbook flat after the ink dried and the paper started to roll up at the corners and the top. Anyway, have a good video. Leave a like, subscribe and follow Didro on Instagram. And if you don't do it for him, do it for me, okay? I did this drawing in a Canson sketchbook with a Parker fountain pen with black ink. It's basically the same as my latest abstract drawings. The sketchbook is 5.5 uh, times 8.5 inches, or for you that's 14 centimeters times 21.6. I have to say, this is a really satisfying drawing for me. But the thing is, I really hurt my wrist doing it. My wrist and my fingers. It's such a condensed pattern with such precision. It really takes a toll on your articulation. Also, a problem which I had during this drawing is slippery fingers. Because you want to hold the pen firmly. And if your fingers are slippery, it's really hard to do. So you clench your hand a bit more, which makes it more slippery. So I had to take a few breaks just because of that, and also to roll my wrist a little bit. One thing that was kinda hard to do is to draw on the border of the page, and you will see in the end of the video that I stopped at the bottom, because when you are drawing close to the border with such a small piece of paper, your hand has to rest next to the sketchbook, which is a big difference in height, kind of. So yeah, it's one of the reasons why I don't always draw on the whole page. And also because the longer shape with this kind of pattern didn't really feel right, you know? I also only draw on the right side of the sketchbook and that is because of the spirals which are in the middle and that gets really annoying with your hand unless you want to turn the whole sketchbook. But for these kind of videos, it's kind of bothering to turn the sketchbook. If you turn the video into a speed drawing video, then it gets really messy and yeah, it kind of fucks with my mind when I watch it back. Now to finish on the problems I had with the drawing, I have to say the paper rolls up quite a lot and I already said this in the intro, well the octopus said it in the intro, but you need something to hold the page flat while you're drawing because or else it's a mess and it really messes up your precision. So now, on the good side of the drawing, I really like drawing abstract patterns and drawing the same pattern all over the page. It's very relaxing to do, especially while listening to music. And by the way, I have a video on that about the music I listen to while drawing, so if you can watch that after this video, that would really help me. But yeah, it's, it's really strange because I have to listen to music while I'm drawing. Not only music, I just need stimuli from other sources, be it music or videos or series or even films. It's really hard for me to concentrate only on one thing. I need to be more stimulated by many different things. So yeah, while drawing, I discovered that I really need to work on my concentration, like learn how to work more on the same thing without feeling bored or without needing something else on the side to make the time go by. It's strange because it's not a problem for me at work, like during my daytime job. But for drawing it is, and I don't really know why. I can focus on a thing for a lot of hours. Just drawing, it's, it's hard to do. But anyway, that's another topic entirely. So about the pattern, as you can see, I kind of wanted to draw like as if you took a ball of yarn and just put all the strings in the same place and it forms all these tiny knots and twirls. It makes you think, oh, did he draw it with the intention of having a single piece of string that runs all the way around the drawing? No, it's only just small curves. I can't be bothered by trying to draw one entire line that goes over and under everywhere. But yeah, despite being more of the same patterns, what I really like about this drawing, and it's something that used to piss me off a few years ago when I started drawing in abstract style, it's the fluctuations in the size and precision along the whole drawing. Because I didn't do it in one single sitting, then sometimes my hand would feel more relaxed or more tensed, and it translates in the drawing as being more precise or less. I like it because it makes the drawing more alive, you know? Like, if I wanted to, I could have done the same kind of thing with Illustrator or Photoshop or something and have the same pattern all over that I could duplicate to make it more uniform, but it's way less fun to do. And this is what makes the drawing unique. It's not just a single pattern, it's a pattern that evolves and the whole thing is very relaxing to do. It's like meditation time for me. 
One thing though, because it's very relaxing, I don't really think about what I'm doing because also I'm watching a video or listening to music at the same time, but I still have to be careful about something. It's the area of focus of the camera. You have to compromise between having a good zoom so that you can actually see something in the video, like you can see the lines being drawn, but that means I have to move the sketchbook more often because my camera is fixed on a tripod. I have to remember that when I go down the page, I need to move the sketchbook up so that it stays in the middle of the camera focus. But hey, it's a small price to pay to make a video, which I think is really satisfying for me. Is it just me? I really like to watch drawing videos like this. Obviously, I'm very inspired by Peter Draws, that's what he does. And I'm really glad to be able to do the same sort of things. Anyway, that's all I had to say for today. I had tons of fun doing this drawing and if you want to see more stuff like this, please follow my YouTube channel. You can also see all my drawings on Instagram if you want to. And that's basically it. As for me, I will see you next week. Bye.